Hello and welcome to this lesson of the course. This time we'll try to complete the details for the hull, having in mind the amount of polygons at all times. When working in a cartoon style, shapes should be exaggerated and we should try to keep the amount of polygons as low as possible. First, we need to make a new cut in the front. Select the hull, activate the polygons mode, grab the loop path 2 and make a cut here. Then activate the points mode, grab the loop selection tool, select these new points and modify the scale. Don't forget that we are working in a cartoon style. On the bottom we can do a similar thing, that is, a new horizontal cut. Let's do it. Grab the loop path tool and make the cut. Now grab the loop selection tool, select the points on the bottom of the ship and scale them down to narrow that area. Grab the loop selection tool, select these points and scale them up. And finally select these points on the back and scale them a bit. Alright, we don't need to further tweak the hull. Yeah, we could try to add even more detail, but it would make it harder for us if we wanted to add texture later on for example. So I think this is more than enough. Go to the primitives and create a plane. Place it higher so that we can see it properly. Change the number of both width segments and height segments to 1. Rotate the plane. Hold the shift key if you need help. Place the plane where the sail would be. Be patient and keep adjusting the scale until you have it right. Then make it editable, select the points and scale them to speed things up. Scale up the bottom points too. Like this. Now it's a good time to play around with the shape of the sail. You can do it like this or you can try other shapes. Now I'm going to select the sail and the yards and I'm going to rotate them a bit. Ok, let's subdivide the sail so that we can curve it later on. Select the plane and go to Mesh, Command and click on the gear next to Subdivide. In this dialog box we can change the amount of subdivisions. If we leave it at 1, we'll just get a single subdivision on each axis. Let's go back to that dialog box and let's choose two subdivisions. See, now we have twice as many as before. Undo it and try setting the subdivisions to 4. I think that's too many, so press Ctrl Z again. We're going to leave it at 2. In any case, we can increase the amount of subdivisions later on with the use of a subdivision surface. Alright, let's keep some thickness to the sail. Select the plane and go to Simulate, Cloth, Cloth Surface. This will help us achieve that thickness to the sail. So drag the plane into the cloth surface. Now go to the attributes and change the value of thickness to 3. See how the sail changed a bit? I think we should set the thickness to 1, so that it fits better what we want. Now make the cloth surface editable and there we go, it's ready. Later on we can even give it more detail if we want. Select the sail and duplicate it by dragging while holding CTRL. 
place it on the other mast and scale it down properly. Let's change the shape of the sails. Go to the deformers and choose Bend. Now place the bend in such a way that covers the main sail. Once you have done that, change the value of the strength to see how the bend would act. As you can see, it bends to the right, so let's rotate it 90 degrees like this. Now set the strength to minus 23 and drag the bend into the plane. Notice how the plane bends according to the position or the strength of the bent object deformer. For example, if you change the value of the strength, the sail bends, depending also on the position. Now select the plane, right click and choose current state to object. This will register the shape of the plane on a new copy of the object. Delete the original and keep the new copy. See how the new copy has the plane already bent like this? Now, carefully, place the sail in the right position. For the other mast, we'll do the same thing. To avoid repeating all the steps again, Create a duplicate of the sail by dragging it while holding CTRL. Delete this and then place the sail and the yachts where they should go. If you think that the sail is too short, stretch it with the scale tool. And that's it for this lesson. In the next video, we'll work on the ship's wheel. See you!